Hussa Perfumes, this big old thing right here. I mean, I could say what it looks like, but we're not going to talk about it. But we're going to talk about these two right here, Sava and Calabria. My name is Neeb. Welcome back to Aromatics. Today, we're going to jump into some first impressions for Hussa Perfumes. This is a brand that's based out in Kuwait. I've done quite a few talk about this brand. We've jumped into a lot of their fragrances, and we're going to be jumping into a lot more, and probably all of them, really. So today, we're talking about their grand collection. They do have a higher-end collection as well, and they're pretty expensive. So for now, we're going to start off with some of these bottles. These in Kuwait are about 70 US dollars, but by the time they make it here to the States, you got to pay the middleman and the shipping and all that stuff. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because it's a frequently asked question. A lot of brothers and sisters in the East, they mention it down in the comments. So I figured, let me just go ahead and clear that out of the way. So although it might be 70 to 100 US dollars, you do have to pay the middleman and then shipping each one of these bottles from Dubai generally costs about $25. So now you're sitting at about $120 and then that middleman might want an extra 20 bucks to get some Chipotle. So now you're at 140 and then the store has got to make a couple bucks. So around 160 bucks is pretty fair for what you're going to pay with these fragrances right here. So the first one that I want to jump into is called Sava and Sava and a lot of these fragrances are now on Fragrantica. Prior to ever talking about Pussa, I never saw any information to it. Shortly after we started pumping out some reviews, I noticed that they were added onto Fragrantica, which I applaud. The fragrance exists and we want to know the notes. So thank you very much. So top notes for this fragrance include red berry citruses. And as you can see, there's praline, orris, and Madagascar vanilla. So it looks like it's going into that gourmand sexy territory. And you guys know I'm all for that. So wait a minute before we go anywhere. Let's just look at these presentations. So this is a 200 ml bottle that's got this amber color and you see that Sava on the top. You have all of those details that are debossed and you've got Lissa on the top there. It's a very thin metal, almost like sheet metal. And on the bottom, Lissa perfumes with the information and made in Kuwait. They also have their Instagram tag, which is Lissa Official. I'll go ahead and leave that down in the description. So like I was saying, this is a part of their signature collection and you can see it on the plaque in the front here if we can get this to focus. So there it is, signature collection. All right, so another thing that's worthy of noting is the size of this freaking atomizer, my God. This is not an atomizer. This is a hair sprayer. That's what this is. This is ridiculous. Let me show you guys what a normal atomizer looks like in compared. What the frick is that? <laughs> yeah, it's no surprise that the atomizer is going to do that. Oh my God. Whoa, hold up. Guys, this smells like, this smells like Killian's angel share, but so freaking strong. Oh my God. Okay, Killian's angel share, here we go. Wow, that's pretty sorry compared to... <laughs> and Lissa Sava. Here we go. Oh my god, dude. I mean, it, it really smells just like Angel Share, but beast mode. All right, man, uh, that's a lot shorter than I thought it would be. Sava smells and tastes like Killian's Angel Share, but stronger, but much stronger. I mean, you get 200 ml compared to this. Simple as that. I'm not going to over complexify it. I'll have to wear it and see if it dries down the same. But this is angel share. So 160 bucks versus 160 bucks. 5% off with the code down in the description and just 160 bucks. Okay, next fragrance is Calabria by Lissa. So Calabria by Lissa has a couple of different notes. This one is bergamot, pink pepper, green apple. We got some cashmere. There's also iris and amberwood and vetiver. So let's see what this one's all about. Same exact presentation. The cap is extremely light, by the way. It seems like sheet metal that's been molded over this piece of plastic. Oh God, here we go again with these atomizers. My God. Okay. Well, it is pressurized, so you can kind of dictate how much you want. So there you go. That's more than enough. Wow. Okay. This smells very nice. Pink pepper, green apples, spicy, crisp, smooth at the same time. A lot of amber wood. This is ambery, sweet, spicy, fruity. I'm not sure if it's reminding me of anything just yet, but right now I just know that this opened up very beautifully. It honestly, it's my favorite opening of almost all of them. I love that pink pepper. I love apple note and the way that it is blended together. It's really nice. So pink pepper and apple, I would have thought it would be sharp and crisp, too crisp, but the cashmere wood and the iris combination does a good job at softening it out. So it just stands out. It is still pretty spicy. You do have to enjoy pink pepper and it definitely has that crisp note of apple. It's for sure there. Very nice, a little bit green, soft, Fresh, spicy, soft, spicy. It's not too spicy. 
and it's fruity. It's not so much green, but it's just in the undertone. You get some of that patchouli and the amber wood as well. Very nice, very nice fragrance. I really enjoy Calabria. This is reminding me of something. I'm getting a certain type of vibe, something that opens up with pepper and apple. And I think I know exactly what it is. You know what? Let me just show you guys exactly what happened here as I had to stop the camera. So I stopped the camera to, you guys are getting a first exclusive look to do this. These are all of the fragrances that I pulled out to narrow down what the heck this smells like. This is worth every penny to me because I love what this is like, what it smells like. Latent exclusive, just, just cut. Now, although they do have a lot of similarities, spraying it on skin is where the differences did shine. So I've got uh, Calabria on the left here and I've got Latent Exclusive on the right. So the one signature difference between these two is the inclusion of the Oud. The Oud quality in this one stands out a little bit more. I would probably say that it's got more of that civet in here. So this one, it does have some woody nuances to it. I just don't think that this utilizes that same civet note. Also, the only other difference is the slight mentholated vibes that you get in Latent Exclusive, which is significantly dosed down in comparison to the original Layton is also still higher in the exclusive than it is in Calabria. And in the beginning is where most of that similarity shines. And as it starts to dry down, the mentholated vibe and latent exclusive does start to shine a little bit more and starts to detach them just a little bit. So the opening of this and the opening of latent exclusive is amazing. But I wouldn't give this more than like a 75 to 80% similarity to latent exclusive. This is by no means a dupe, by no means a dupe. But the overall vibe of this fragrance is the vibe of Layton Exclusive. Awesome fragrance, and for that, I love it. And I love the fact that it has just enough of differences to make this not really a redundant buy. This one does emphasize a little bit more on that geranium, the cooling effect, the mentholated vibe, but it's much, much less than the uh, Layton, but it also has more of that civet note, more animalic facets and oud, which in my opinion turns this into more of an aphrodisiac. This one focuses more on the gourmand aspect, still has that apple pie vibe. It does utilize some of those woods, but it focuses more around the amber and less towards the geranium, the spices and the animalic nuances. So in the top is where you're gonna see the similarities start off. And then as it starts to get into the mid and dry down, they slowly start to separate and become more of their own thing. Uh, now it's been about an hour, late and exclusive on the right, and we've got Calabria on the left. So let's check it out. Lane Exclusive has much more of a pronounced coffee. It's darker, it's denser, it's sweet, it's bold. Whereas Calabria gets a little bit softer. It's more amber woods, vetiver. The iris does shine. It's not as bold or as dense as the Layton Exclusive. It still has that similar sweet vibe, but it doesn't really have that coffee vibe to the fragrance. Layton Exclusive is more animalic. The civet is still there and it's creamy. Whereas this one, it's woody, it's sweet, but more focused around the ambers rather than the cream. So the opening was really where most of that similarity is, about 75, 80%. And then as this gets to the mid and dry down, they do start to turn more into like 50% or even less. But the opening was beautiful, this because of that relationship that I drew to Layton Exclusive. So I wanna relive that opening just one more time so I can see if I can confirm that in fact, it does open up pretty similar to Layton Exclusive. So here we are an hour to an hour and a half later, the dry down does turn down to like a 70%, 60% relationship, not nearly anything that's close enough to call a dupe, but I wanna relive that opening one more time. So here we go, fresh skin, Calabria, my God, it literally, I, I'm showered, I'm showered. And then Layton Exclusive on the right. Cute. Almond, citruses, and although different notes, similar. Calabria has got more peppers, it's spicier, it still has those citruses, it has a similar woody quality in the opening, similar spiciness. It gets a very similar vibe, but in a much different way. So I have respect for this fragrance as its own, as a standalone thing. It's literally just a fragrance that'll remind you of slightly Layton Exclusive. This is by no means the same fragrance. It smells like it could be a possible flanker or honestly a safer alternative to this one because this one is a bit more animalic. And for that reason, this one smells or has a little bit more of an edgy vibe to it. But the vibes for both of these, it's pretty similar. This one is definitely more mature and grown up. And this one does a similar family of fragrances that Layton Exclusive does without the animalic bite. As simple as that. Not the same fragrance, similar vibes, not nearly as animalic. 
Great fragrance, smells amazing. This for me out of Qissa is a 10 out of 10. Might honestly be my current favorite from Qissa perfumes. Both of these outperform both of those fragrances. So imagine those fragrances with Eastern performance. Yeah, nuclear. Check them out for yourself. I'll leave the link down in the description. Both of these smell amazing. I'm definitely gonna be rocking the hell out of Calabria. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and until the next one, peace. Thank <laughs> you.